I would prefer that in India, we adopt a lot of the Indian ways, like the flowers and the incense, color and all that, which makes you feel that you are an Indian. You're surrounded by beauty and in nature. Till today, uh, Roman vestments were being used. That time I said, uh, why Roman vestments? I don't look, uh, want to look like a Roman. Uh, I didn't want to call the Roman Catholic. Uh, I said, I'm an Indian Catholic, which is Christian. I'm an Indian Christian. The faiths, various faiths, the Muslim faith, the uh, Hindu faith, the Sikh faith, I have been brought up with those kind, with the students in my school. And I don't need to uh, be different. I need to be an Indian. At the same time, I believe in Christ. We were first Indian and then Christian, and therefore we had to take the entire Indian culture along with its spiritual practices and inculturate that into our faith. At the Indian Rite Mass, not only Holy Communion, but small sweets are distributed, as in Hindu temples. The prasad is something offered. It does not become God. For us, that is the big difference. The officials in the church are interested in what we call inculturation. That is, the religion has to be you know, in a particular culture, in a particular soil. Otherwise, it is going to be something artificial. The people of the place should experience God through their culture. If you see our stained glass windows, you see Mary with earrings. This was revolutionary in the 50s. If Our Lady appears in Lourdes, like a French girl or a French lady, and in Fatima, if she appears as a Portuguese lady, why can't she be depicted as an Indian lady in India? An Indian lady, she looks very bare without jewelry. She must have some type of jewelry. In the Indian tradition, there is something called Aarti. This Aarti was originally the waving of lights. But nowadays, we wave not only lights, but also incense and flowers. The Christian mass itself has gone through various phases adopting and adapting different things in the different religious cultures and traditions that it went to. So it's not something new in India. The process of inculturation involves adoption of a particular culture, but not necessarily everything. But then certain other things may have to be adapted. So the first point is adopting. Second one is adapting. You make certain changes because of the situation in which you are as a Christian. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.